So you've got Beatmaker 3 and you've got your folders full of samples, but how do you actually get them into Beatmaker 3? And once they're in there, how do you organize them so that you can find the right samples for the right sessions? We're gonna cover all of that in today's video. Welcome back creatives, I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make weekly tip and tutorial videos as well as product reviews on all things music production. And if you enjoy that kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to catch the next one. Probably one of my biggest frustrations when I'm feeling very inspired in Beatmaker 3 is trying to track down the right samples. They're either buried under stacks of folders or hiding somewhere never to be found. But today we're gonna to fix all of that. I'm gonna show you the best way to import and organize all of your samples in Beatmaker 3. So let's do it. Quick disclaimer, you'll see either my fingers touching the screen or you'll see the mouse pointer because I will be going back and forth between using the mouse or trackpad and my fingers or maybe even the Apple Pencil, who knows. Here we go. All right, so right now I'm in my files app and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna find my samples. I've got some samples here in Splice, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the samples folder. If you wanted to put your whole samples folder into Beatmaker 3, you could do this with the samples folder, but I'm just gonna pick one of these. I'm gonna press and hold it, and I'm actually going to compress this folder. Perfect. So the reason I'm compressing the files that I want to put into Beatmaker 3 is if you don't compress them and you just put them in your imports folder, you're gonna have a hard time finding them in the searchable window in Beatmaker 3. You're gonna to have to go to your imports folder every time and that's not what we want. So I'll show you how that works in just a sec. But for now, go ahead and press and hold on your new, newly compressed file. Uh, go to share and then we will go to scroll all the way to the end and there it is, open in Beatmaker 3. So we're gonna press that. Right, and right when that happens, you'll see this little box right here, unzipped content available in the imports directory, which is perfect, that's what we want. So we're gonna click okay. Now, that is how you import anything you wanna import into Beatmaker 3. That's samples, that's uh, MIDI files. That's what you would do. Now the next step is very important. Do not skip this or else you won't be able to organize your samples correctly. So we're gonna go into the settings menu here. We're gonna go to settings and behaviors and we're gonna click rescan database. It'll take just a minute. Okay, perfect, so it's done. Now what we need to do is go back. And the reason we did that is if you don't rescan the database, Beatmaker 3 will essentially show you the files in there, but as soon as you try to tag them or anything, those tags will not work. So you gotta make sure you rescan the database anytime you put files of any kind into Beatmaker 3. So we got that done. Let's go in and see if we can find those samples. So I'm gonna start up here in my documents. I'm gonna go to imports and we should see Sounds of Kashmir Volume 3. That's the folder that I put in there. It's already unzipped. Some of you guys might be wanting to organize your files by the type of instrument. So for example, your drums, you got your kicks, your snares, your hi-hats, your claps. You want to be able to search them by that sound type. You wanna be able to go in and hit all categories and search by category and find the samples you're looking for. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, we are going to go ahead and click the folder that we unzipped. Click it again. All right, and I've got a few different types of samples in here. So I'm gonna start with this kick right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna tag it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Click edit, select this kick, and then hit tag. And then you wanna edit category. So the category is drums, and then the subcategory would be kick. And then click set kick. There you go. Now, if I go back, to my search and I click samples and I click drums and kick, there it is. You can do that with any sample. All you have to do is go in and select the samples you want and make sure you tag each one. All right, so now that we know how to get our samples tagged by instrument name, we also should look at how to save full banks. So for example, you get a 
full set of drums that you love using, playing in on the pads for certain types of songs, and you want to be able to pull up that same pad with the same samples in it every time, you can do that by creating a bank. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm actually going to use the same set of samples, and I'm going to go ahead and just add them all in one by one. So select one pad, load sample. All right, I've got them all loaded in there. Um, but this is what I want to call my cashmere kit. And it's got everything from the cashmere folder in it. And what I can do is just press and hold on this tab here and click save bank. All right, and this is where you can name your bank, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to call it cashmere, spell it the same way they did. Um, I'll call it volume three. Okay. Now you can click copy samples and save patterns. Copying the samples essentially makes a copy of the samples for each project that you're in. The problem with doing that is you're gonna end up with duplicates of every sample in your samples tab. So I would avoid that unless you're really, really paranoid about losing the samples per project. Um, and then you can hit save patterns if you want. That's specifically for uh, if you've already played something in in this session, you can save the patterns from this bank to your session folder. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to save this bank. So save it there. Now, if I want to open that up again, I've got my whole bank saved and I want to add it in again right here. Um, I'm going to go back to the search tab, hit banks, and I'm going to find Cashmere, Cashmere Volume 3. There it is, load bank. And there's all my samples. So there you go, you guys. I hope you found this short video helpful. If you have suggestions for more content that you want to see covered, please let me know down in the comments section. And if you want to see more Beatmaker Free tutorials, check out this playlist, which I'm also going to link down in the description. And all right, creatives, go make something dope, and I'll see you in the next video.